Hi everyone, it's uh, Dutch Reefer here and welcome to yet another video in the Reef Keeping 101 series. So today's video will be about how to get rid of green algae in your tank. As a reefer, one of the things you will eventually end up with is green algae in your tank, whether it will be when setting up a new tank or in a later stage when there is some kind of instability in your tank or you introduce a piece of coral uh, which has a small piece of algae attached and before you know it it might turn into a green green fields of algae in your reef tank so this video will be to tell you about uh, a couple of methods to get rid of green algae uh, and some ways uh, to prevent it um, so there are various types of green algae. There's the normal uh, green hair algae, which is very common, um, which will grow uh, on uh, on live rock, for example. Um, and it will be, uh, it will, of course, it will grow by using lights above your tank. So that's a natural uh, light source will uh, will grow algae, and also having some nutrients in your tank. So that's phosphates and nitrates. Uh, they will also uh, promote the growth of algae in your tank and if you don't take the right countermeasures it is very hard to get rid of algae in your tank so what i always prefer first is to use a natural way of removing the algae so that's what the main focus of this video is also about uh, but sometimes that's not enough and you have to use some extra methods of removing the algae which i have done in this nano reef tank so first I'll tell you about the nano reef and in the second part of this video we'll move uh, to the big tank and I'll tell you something about that and how I keep that algae free. So this nano tank is actually the hardest to keep uh, algae free because it's very hard to introduce animals in here which will naturally eat or consume the algae uh, which is a lot easier if you have a big tank where you can add some fish uh, that, will, uh, that will eat the algae. So for this tank that's a little harder, there is one fish in this tank that is consuming algae, which is a Solarias. Uh, Solarias are also known as lawnmower blennies. So there's uh, various types of Solarias. There's the common grey Solarias fasciatus, which is a, a grey kind of Solarias. And then there's some others, a Racemosa is one, and I think that's the one I have in my tank. Um, I don't know if I'll spot it since it's uh, always hiding pretty well in the tank and sometimes it's hiding in plain sight. Uh, so we might see it today, or we might not. But uh, the main thing I wanted to tell you is that Salarias are really good fish at chomping away algae. And then especially green hair algae. So there's also another type of algae which is... Um, uh, or no, let's stick with green algae first. Of, of course, there's also all, all kinds of other creatures that you can use to get rid of green alg algae in a small tank, which are, for example, hermit crabs. There are a couple of them in this tank, at least two. And uh, snails, of course. So there's also a couple of snails in this tank. Uh, we'll move to the side of the tank, so probably there are always some at the back of the tank. As is the case right now, if you can look through this, you will see one of the snails, which ironically has some algae on its back as well. Um, so, and here's another one. So snails are a very effective, uh, also a very cost-effective way of keeping your tank algae-free, since their main food source is actually the algae, uh, so they will uh, really enjoy it. So if you have a small tank, try adding some snails some hermit crabs and if you have the room for it and you can put one in a very small tank then buy a salarias since they are both amazing fish to have and they are very good at eating algae so to move on um, there's another type of algae that uh, can be in your tank which is a bit harder to counter uh, which is for example uh, uh, bubble algae so I'll try to show you some bubble algae in my tank since there is some uh, if you look on the sand here there are some pieces of bubble algae and also 
on the side here of the tank but it's a little bit harder to spot uh, you can see it here on the back pane of the tank as well and these bubbles are actually quite a pain to deal with normally there would be a fish that eats them which is the fox face which I'll show you in my other tank but this tank is way too small to add a fox face so that's why it's uh, it's still in here the bubble algae uh, I could still opt for a mithrax crab so a mithrax crab also referred to as an emerald crab is a very bright green crab that you can use to get rid of bubble algae but they will eat it very slowly uh, so a fox face if you have the room for it is the best option to remove bubble algae uh, but unfortunately that's a big that's a fish that will be way too big for this uh, nano tank so that's not an option for uh, for this tank one more type of uh, algae that I haven't mentioned yet is uh, Briopsis and Briopsis is actually typically not a type of algae it's actually a type of uh, seaweed uh, but still it's commonly referred to as algae since it grows very similarly to algae and Briopsis is very hard to get rid of there are a couple of methods that are being used such as elevating magnesium but these are experimental treatments that are not 100% uh, guarantee a good result. I wanted to share what I did in this tank and that's uh, adding a product that's called Reflux. It's a product by Blue Life. FYI this is not sponsored this is just something I bought because I really needed it and uh, it worked a treat so uh, adding some of this to the tank uh, solved the, uh, the, the biopsis crisis. It has been in here for months and after adding this product it is now uh, almost completely gone. I'm on day at day five after the treatment, and it's already 80% gone. Uh, they say it can take up to 10 days to completely remove it. Uh, but I wanted to share with you that this really works a treat. Um, so Flux RX, the main uh, product that's in here is called, and I want to say this correctly. So give me a moment to uh, to look it up. It starts with, uh, ah yes, fluconazole. So fluconazole is the main uh, ingredient of FluxRx and it's uh, known to treat hair algae and bryopsis very well. So that's something you can use to, uh, to remove uh, bryopsis from your reef tank. Those are the main three types of algae that I've seen in this tank. So let's get on with the big tank and I'll see you in a minute. So welcome back to the second part of the video where I will be uh, telling you something about keeping algae in check in this big reef tank. Uh, and um, like I told you before in this video, it's much easier if you have a big tank because you have a much more options to choose from when it comes to keeping algae in check. So as you can see this tank has nearly does, does not have any algae. Uh, there is some cyanobacteria on the bottom of the tank but that's a dip, different kind of uh, it's a bacteria based algae so that's not the green algae that we're discussing in this video. Um, and the reason that there's little to no green algae in this tank is that there's a lot of fish in here that will actually uh, devour the algae as soon as it enters the tank. I even feed some of my macroalgae, so that's uh, uh, caulerpa, which is in my sump. Uh, I put it to a clip and I feed it to my fish just to keep them uh, nourished because they do need some algae to uh, have an optimal varied diet. Otherwise they would eat just meaty foods, which is uh, not optimal for them. So uh, let's start off with uh, with the most common fish that people have in their tanks, which is a tang. Uh, there's various tangs in this uh, tank. So there's the blue hippo tang, there's the um, desjardini, which is also a tang, and the convict tang, which is an acanthurus type of tang. Um, these are actually the best at eating uh, algae. So this fish will literally eat anything you throw at it. Uh, so it's a very, um, very active eater. As you can see, it's even nipping away at some of the scratches that are in the glass, which contain a little bit of green algae. I hope you can see it. Well, it's quite hard to zoom into it. Uh, but right here, 
there is a, uh, a, a scratch where there's some green algae inside and the convict tank will even try to eat that. So that's a testament of its, uh, its power to, uh, to remove algae from tanks. So if you have a big tank, add one or two or even three tanks and you're almost certain to, uh, to have everything uh, taken care of for you. So that's uh, one of the main fish to eat algae. Then a bit more specialized algae eater, the fox face. Uh, the fox face is a type of rabbit fish uh, and these rabbit fish really have a taste for algae as well. Um, this fish will typically also eat the uh, the bubble algae that I've shown you in my uh, in my nano reef tank. Uh, so these are uh, are actually um, they also eat meaty foods, but they are specialized uh, algae eaters as well. Uh, so having one of these fox faces, that's one of the constant factors in all my reef tanks to date. So this is actually the third one. Uh, I first had a yellow one with a black spot on its back, then a grey one. Uh, which is a little bit more expensive and then this plain uh, yellow one of course still with the uh, the black and white uh, head which they all uh, tend to have so the rabbit fish the fox face is a uh, is a very good addition if you want to remove green algae from your tank um, typically they can grow very big so even though they might sell them in your local reef store uh, being very small even a few centimeters long um, don't be fooled by the size they will grow large they will grow large fast especially if you feed them a lot or if there's a lot of algae in your tank uh, so do keep in mind that even if you add one to a 100 liter tank like my nano or a little bit bigger um, one day they will uh, grow out of your tank and need to migrate into a bigger tank. Of course, if you keep that in mind, it's uh, perfectly possible to uh, have one of these small fish uh, clean your tank of algae before uh, moving it to a, uh, to a larger tank, since that's a very uh, practical solution. Then there's the parrotfish. This is not a very common addition, so I'm just going to briefly discuss it. Uh, you wouldn't buy a parrotfish just for removing green algae from your tank, uh, but I want to give it a special mention since it's actually a pretty good uh, uh, green eater so uh, it does fairly well uh, but then again this is not a typical fish that would you would keep in your reef tank uh, at least it's, it's not for everyone so uh, I'd stick with a fox face or a, or a tang or two so uh, that's the things I wanted to show you on how to remove green algae from your tank so to wrap it up um, Snails and hermit crabs are very good uh, algae eaters on a small scale. Scale, They will uh, love the algae that's in your tanks. And they will eat it very slowly. Then if you have a larger tank, then you can add fish that eat algae, like tanks or a fox face, which are very useful. And if nothing else works and you want to get rid of some bryopsis or some green hair algae, you could try the uh, the Flux RX, which is actually a, a chemical product, uh, which will uh, also uh, remove algae pretty efficiently. Um, so that's the main things I wanted to share with you today. I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the images that I showed you in this uh, video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So for now, stay safe out there.